אני חושב שאנחנו צריכים לשאול את עצמנו מה אנחנו הולכים לעשות אם וכאשר המשטר הנוכחי ינסה להציל את עצמו באמצעות מלחמה ולפי דעתי אנחנו צריכים במקרה כזה להשבית לחלוטין את המדינה ולשבת בעולים על הקריה ואני אשמח להיות חלק מדבר כזה וכל אחד שיצטרף לזה, תודה רבה shook Israel on Thursday and Friday. The attackers fired on an Israeli bus, set off a suicide bombing and roadside bombs, fired on civilian vehicles and engaged in a fire battle with the Israeli army. The day after, 20 Grad rockets hit the southern Israeli city of Ashdod, damaging a synagogue. By the weekend, eight Israelis were killed and almost 40 injured. Immediately after the initial attack, the Israeli Air Force bombed many locations in Gaza, despite an admitted lack of evidence that the attackers originated from the Gaza Strip. The attackers fired from the Sinai Peninsula in Egypt, just south of Israel. According to Angel Pfeffer of Haaretz, Israeli forces killed five of the terrorists and Egyptian soldiers reportedly killed two more. But the Israeli Defense Forces estimates that 15 to 20 participated in the attack, meaning most escaped. On Thursday, the Israeli Air Force bombed many locations in Gaza and killed the leader of the Popular Resistance Committee to which Netanyahu referred. However, the army could not confirm that the group was connected to the terror attack. The Real News spoke with Lieutenant Colonel Avital Leibovitz. On what are you basing your conclusion that this group is uh, responsible for the terror attacks? We did not say that this group was responsible for the terror attack. We based this on intelligence information as well as on facts that actually presented an hour ago uh, to some uh, wires and journalists uh, some of the findings uh, that were upon the bodies of the terrorists. And uh, they are using, for example, the Kalachnikov bullets. And Kalachnikov rifles are uh, very common in Gaza. Many terror groups use Kalachnikovs. No, not many terror groups. I, I'm not saying, I'm, I'm, I'm referring to the terrorists that came from Gaza. Prime Minister Netanyahu said today that uh, the group that was responsible for a terror attack was the one that was eliminated. Uh, and you're saying that's not the case? I don't know what he said. I am not uh, Prime Minister Netanyahu. I'm saying that the group came from Gaza. And I'm giving the proof why it came from Gaza. Why, how we know that we, it came from Gaza. This is all I'm saying. The terror attacks came with the heat of a mass popular movement that saw the biggest demonstrations in the country's history. The protests, which started over housing and commodity prices, quickly turned against the Prime Minister, demanding that Netanyahu resign. <laughs> Prime Minister has mostly kept quiet about the popular movement, but many protesters I spoke with were concerned that he may use a large-scale military offensive in order to distract from the movement and from the upcoming September request by the Palestinian Authority to be recognized as a state by the United Nations. Killing on both sides Standing in the path of peace But tell me why are we arming the Israeli army With guns and tanks and bullets <laughs>